What you're looking at is extreme ultraviolet footage of the Sun, our very own living, breathing ball of gas. The bright bursts of light are huge solar flare eruptions that herald a period of rare and furious action, directly linked to a beautiful phenomenon happening on Earth. The Sun's 11-year cycle of activity includes solar flares and coronal mass ejections, vast clouds of magnetized solar plasma and radiation leaping into space. These contribute to what is known as the solar wind. It's a continuous flow of charged particles being thrown in our direction at around 1 million miles per hour. This wouldn't be good news for life on Earth if our planet didn't have a trick up its sleeve. The magnetosphere. It valiantly defends us from the solar wind, as well as cosmic rays from deep space. But the solar wind is not always the same. A lot of activity on the Sun's surface can lead to solar storms. Big waves of charged particles that slam into the Earth's magnetosphere. Some are deflected away, but the rest are caught in our magnetic field and drawn to both poles, leading to geomagnetic storms that penetrate our atmosphere. As these particles pass through our atmosphere, they can disrupt radio signals, including GPS. But they're most famous for creating colourful displays of the Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights, as well as the Aurora Australis in the Southern Hemisphere. The colours occur due to different gases in the Earth's atmosphere being energised by the charged particles. Earth's two most common atmospheric gases are nitrogen and oxygen. Oxygen emits either a red or green glow, the colour most commonly seen, while nitrogen emits blues and purples. In May 2024, we saw a huge increase in extreme geomagnetic storms as the Sun's activity cycle approaches its solar maximum. This has led to a much greater chance of seeing aurora activity around the globe and has created some pretty spectacular light displays from China to Europe, Australia and even some southern states in the US. As for how long these conditions could last for, well it's possible for this maximum activity to last several years. And in case you thought these light shows were reserved for Earth only, aurora have been discovered on other planets in our solar system, including Saturn, Uranus and Jupiter. <laughs>